The organized labor in Taraba State is currently visiting government establishments to send home those who have resumed regular activities today. The union members moving around in their branded buses in Jalingo, the state capital, said they were enforcing total compliance with the directive of the national bodies. Workers who had earlier resumed at their duty post were seen leaving the premises for their homes. Those who could not leave immediately were seen hanging around the premises of their offices. Meanwhile, at the time of this report, filling stations are open to the public and commercial banks within the state capital are also open to their customers. Private schools also had their students in their various classrooms. I cannot be able to cope up with my issues to attend to what I could, what I want to do, especially for the day. And actually, this actually affects some of my plans for the day, or even for the week. I'm not finding it easy. And you can see many people are stranded also. Actually, the effect is not, uh, it's not good to the general public. We are not finding it easy. Uh, my name is Comrade Peter JDL, the chairman of Nigeria Labor Congress, Taraba State. Okay, sir, so you have gone around and you have seen it for yourself. Will you say there is total compliance to this? To yes, uh, almost 70% compliance of today. So we believe that uh, as tomorrow will be either 80 or 90 percent. Okay, we found out that in the morning when we were going around offices, some offices were operating. Yes. And some banks were operating. Yes. As of this afternoon, yeah. some things, some of your colleagues are... Yes, in the morning, the... Out of the office. Yes, in the morning, actually, some offices are open. Unfortunately, my committee went out. After they went out, then they sent people out of the office. Even the bank will close them. The offices will close it. Even the, the NNPC. I went there by myself. So I drove them out. Do you have any message for the workers? Yes. I want the workers of Taraba State to give a maximum compliance tomorrow. And also I want to call on the marketers, the road transport workers, also tomorrow they give us the compliance, we continue with this strike. And this is not for the only workers in Nigeria. All the people of Nigeria are suffering. But why is it that some people don't want to comply with us? When they give us a maximum comp uh, compliance, I believe that we will win this battle. But when they felt, this is how we will continue suffering in Nigeria. Many people are not aware, we are going around, many people are not aware why they have been driven out of the bank and other places. Look so what, 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 what is the reason? Just assuming we don't, what's the reason behind the strike? The reason is, one, about the minimum wage, two, electricity, three, increase of fuel. That is the reason why, that is the reason why today we are going for strike. The people of Nigeria are suffering. Like yesterday, I went to the market. I went to buy a bag of mess. The bag of mess yesterday about seven seventy-three thousand naira. How can I afford to buy this if the salary is only thirty thousand naira? So that is why now labor are looking for four hundred and ninety ninety-five thousand naira. But the government said it's only sixteen naira they can afford to pay. That is why we refuse. until the labor and the government to come an agreement. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.